Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to Windsor Brokers Live uh, Daily Market Outlook. Uh, today is uh, Thursday, 4th of uh, September 2012, and uh, basically these two days, uh, today and tomorrow, are going to be quite important as uh, a number of important releases are due uh, today and tomorrow. We have the central banks of uh, UK and the Eurozone uh, releasing their uh, rate uh, decisions, and of course uh, tomorrow we have the US uh, non-farm uh, payrolls. Uh, so this is the first uh, Friday of the month, so uh, some accelerations in the markets uh, are likely to be expected as most of the instruments, uh, uh, currencies at the, this point were uh, rather quiet uh, in the past uh, couple of days, uh, especially talking about uh, Euro, uh, as it's still awaiting the, the decision of the Central Bank, the European uh, a central uh, bank uh, with the latest uh, gains uh, being uh, slightly limited and uh, losing uh, traction, uh, expecting basically something uh, to happen to uh, pinch it uh, either upside or uh, downside. In this case, uh, we have quite a strong barrier at uh, 128, 75, 130 on the upper side and on the downside, uh, 128, 75 as initial and uh, 128, 20, 128, 0, 0. The larger picture of uh, sequence still keeps the up and the uh, intact, but uh, uh, more uh, gains and the uh, break above some important uh, barriers is uh, required at this point to uh, confirm it and uh, allow for a stronger uh, uh, gains. Otherwise, we might see the major uh, correction uh, of the larger up move uh, from uh, end of uh, July 2012. Yesterday's set top loser was the crude oil as it extended the losses uh, well below $90 uh, dollars, uh, per barrel. Uh, to hit the low at uh, 80, uh, I apologize, 87.69. This was the low of uh, last night for a November uh, contract, uh, uh, pushed by stronger uh, uh, dollar as well as uh, U.S. Uh, uh, crude oil inventories showing a fall by approximately 500,000 uh, barrels in the uh, latest week, and uh, the investors were again. Uh, uh, more into the short positions at this point, push the oil and uh, basically bringing the very uh, the recent low at the uh, pardon 77.27. Uh, this is the low of uh, uh, June uh, now under question as uh, a quite big part of the rally from uh, 80, uh, from 77.27 to the peak of uh, 100.72 has uh, been raised. We're talking about uh, between 50 and the 61 uh, point eight percent retracement of the entire uh, move. Uh, while the gold remains uh, steady and uh, this morning's uh, fresh push higher is now uh, attempting uh, towards the recent uh, high and the fresh yearly high at uh, 17.91. As said, uh, the key uh, releases today are central uh, banks with the European Central Bank uh, uh, most likely expected uh, to hold the rates on the today's uh, meeting uh, uh, to allow time for uh, new details on the health of the Eurozone economy and of course for Spain, that is the focus now in the Eurozone uh, current crisis, to ask for uh, aid. If uh, Spain asks other Eurozone members uh, to rescue its economy, uh, that uh, would uh, clear the way for the ECP and Central Bank uh, to uh, start uh, buying government bonds in a new program aimed at uh, reducing borrowing costs and solving the patients. The ECB is in, uh, already at a record low at 0.75% uh, and most uh, analysts <coughs> agree uh, it uh, to save any rate uh, cut until uh, the new bond uh, program has uh, started. Economic uh, reports uh, do not make a clear case for lower interest rates either, uh, while uh, the signal that uh, Eurozone uh, returned to recession in the third quarter inflation uh, remains uh, quite uh, high. The majority of economists uh, uh, set on uh, their uh, polls and forecasts uh, that they expected uh, no change on uh, today's uh, meeting uh, uh, as the governing uh, council uh, meets uh, near Ljubljana in Slovenia in one of uh, two annual meetings away from its uh, Frankfurt uh, base. Uh, the other important uh, release is uh, uh, Bank of England uh, uh, rate decision and the stimulus uh, decision. Uh, uh, as uh, Bank of England uh, will uh, likely stay away from increasing its economic uh, stimulus uh, a program of uh, government bond uh, purchases on their today's meeting as the economy is uh, showing some signs of uh, growing again. But uh, another cash injection uh, later this remains a safe bet uh, in the eyes of, in the eyes of uh, many economists uh, because uh, the recovery looks uh, uh, feeble at this point and government uh, spending uh, cuts continue to 
uh, way and the danger from the un unresolved uh, Eurozone crisis uh, loom uh, large. Uh, Britain probably exited the recession in the third quarter as uh, production bounced back from the effect uh, of an extra public uh, holiday in June and as ticket sales uh, for the London Olympics uh, boosted the growth. Uh, some uh, MPC members um, have also voiced uh, confidence that uh, their new funding for lending scheme aimed at getting credit flowing through the economy will help uh, support uh, the recovery. Uh, all, most of the economists uh, on their uh, forecasts uh, are unchanged. The total for the quantitative easing uh, stimulus program of uh, 375 billion pounds, as we said, this is uh, uh, likely ex uh, expected uh, to stay unchanged. And of course, the forecasts uh, for that bank uh, would uh, keep its uh, benchmark uh, interest rates at a record low at 0.5% at after uh, today, uh, uh, end of uh, today's uh, meeting of uh, MPC of uh, Bank of England. And uh, these were the quite uh, the most interesting basically uh, highlights actually of uh, for today from the events and we're going to take a look uh, briefly on the calendar also to uh, see what other economic indicators are uh, important uh, for today. As said, uh, the Swiss economic, uh, pardon, Swiss industrial production has already been uh, released and it's uh, uh, minus 1.1% uh, 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 compared to, uh, pardon, this is on a yearly basis in the second uh, quarter. The UK has already said uh, asset purchase facility is expected unchanged in 375 billion pounds and official bank rate uh, to stay hold, to hold at 0.5%. Uh, the US uh, challenger uh, job cuts uh, due at uh, 11.30 GMT are uh, forecasted, uh, basically we don't have forecast at this point, uh, uh, 32 uh, 30 minus, uh, I do apologize, uh, this is something I think wrong with the calendar, 32.2 thousand is the uh, previous uh, release of uh, month of August, uh, there is a mistake in our calendar here, it's not 36.9%, I do apologize. Uh, with the following uh, event, uh, European uh, Central Bank due at 11.45 and the minimum bid rate is uh, expected to stay unchanged at 70.75%. With the press conference uh, starting at 12.30 GMT where uh, uh, most likely Mr. Mario Draghi, the President of uh, European Central Bank, will uh, give us uh, some more uh, details about the plans in the near term for the European Central Bank. U.S. Uh, unemployment uh, weekly jobless claims are due at the same time. A slight increase to 371,000 new uh, claims is seen in the past uh, week compared to 359,000 in the previous uh, week. At 1,400 GMT we have factory orders from the uh, U.S. at minus 2.6 uh, significant drop in the factory orders uh, in uh, uh, September is uh, uh, expected uh, compared to previous release of 2.8 percent. Uh, uh, Canadian uh, PMI uh, due at uh, the same time 1400 GMT at, uh, forecasted at 61.1 percent, uh, pardon, 61.1 compared to 62.5 and uh, uh, the other significant is the FOMC latest uh, meeting minutes uh, due at uh, 18 o'clock GMT where uh, uh, FMC will give us some more details about the uh, latest uh, meeting uh, voting uh, for the uh, monetary policy of the United States. And that's uh, all for today's uh, calendar and I suggest now uh, we move to the charts and see the latest uh, movements and expectations uh, <clears throat> for today. As said, quite important uh, releases are uh, due today and uh, most likely we might see some uh, uh, stronger action in the markets. Uh, uh, starting uh, with the Euro, as shown on the 4-hour chart, the pair is still entrenched within the range as the upside uh, stays limited by 128.70 uh, barrier uh, that uh, failed to be cleared in several attempts higher, while the downside uh, uh, and the main support is at uh, 128 uh, uh, with the lower, uh, pardon, narrower range uh, floor currently standing at approximately 128.75, uh, we're talking about uh, at this level here and uh, basically the pair is uh, currently moving uh, within uh, these uh, uh, two uh, limits uh, 
with the more action towards the upside seen in the at the beginning of uh, European session, uh, waking up uh, uh, hourly indicators. Although the uh, four-hour chart ones are still uh, rather uh, sideways and neutral, as long as uh, this initial uh, barrier stays intact. And uh, of course, above this we have uh, uh, the 130.00 as uh, psychological uh, and round figure resistance, and basically break above this level. Uh, uh, is seen as a trigger uh, for some uh, stronger action uh, uh, higher and uh, possibly to uh, refocus upside uh, barriers at uh, 131 and uh, 131 uh, 70 recent uh, uh, peak also we have uh, at uh, 12966 uh, 66 if we see uh, 12986 uh, i think i don't see very well it's 50% retracement then of course uh, 130 uh, 29 and 130 47 is the next uh, important barrier in case of break above uh, 130.00. The first one is 61.8% uh, Fibonacci retracement and the second is the uh, lower high of uh, 21st of September at uh, 130.47. On the flip side, uh, as said, the 120, uh, pardon, no, what did we do? Uh, 129.00 is now acting as initial support. It's around the figure uh, uh, support and the low of uh, uh, this is uh, the yesterday's intraday low with the more significant 128.75 uh, higher base, a loss of which uh, is seen as a trigger for a, a further extension uh, lower and the possible test of uh, our uh, key downside supports. Uh, uh, 200 days uh, moving average currently at 128.21 uh, and the uh, 128.00. A low of uh, 1st of October 2012. Also, we have here the broken uh, uh, bull trend line approximately uh, at uh, 127.50 uh, uh, zone. This is the larger uh, uh, trend line from a yearly, uh, pardon, from a yearly peak at uh, 134.85 through 133.79 and uh, 132.82 valid. Uh, a bear trend line that has already been uh, broken as the pair now is uh, returning uh, back uh, to these uh, levels. This is now acting as support, a key support zone, as said, 128.20, 128.00, a break of which uh, I seen as a trigger for a stronger corrective action of uh, the larger up move from 120.42 low of uh, 24th of uh, July 2012 and uh, a double top at uh, 130.70 posted. Uh, in uh, mid-September 2012. Uh, conversely, break above uh, 129.70 and 130.00 is required to uh, signal a uh, higher low at uh, 128 and resume uh, again towards the previously mentioned level and possibly to attract uh, 131 and 131.70. Now a lot depends on the fundamentals and the news. Uh, uh, the first uh, is the today's uh, decision of the European Central Bank, uh, most likely as uh, we expect the rates uh, will stay unchanged, but uh, some uh, comments and the uh, hints of the further uh, steps of the European Central Bank are uh, much more important, and I think we should uh, more focus on the if, uh, uh, ECB's uh, press conference due at 30 GMT, where we will have some more clues about uh, uh, further movements. And of course, tomorrow's the U.S. Uh, non-farm payrolls di data uh, that will be directly affecting the U.S. dollar, and of course. Uh, uh, the other currencies uh, par uh, counterparts of the sing of the greenback uh, that might give another uh, boost or a pu or a, a push lower for the single currency and the sterling uh, this morning is uh, gaining some uh, <clears throat> ground uh, a brief break above uh, 161 seen on the opening of european uh, session as the pair yesterday dipped to 16066 uh, testing our initial uh, support at uh, 160.74, uh, low of 13th of September, following break below the trend line uh, support at 161.25 and losing the base at uh, 161.00, uh, with the negative uh, tone still uh, dominating on the uh, near-term uh, charts as the pair remains in the downtrend from its recent peak at uh, 163.08, uh, with the break below the congestion of uh, one. Uh, uh, 6136 and uh, 16308 now triggering a, a fresh retracement of the larger uh, up move from uh, 15489 low of uh, 2nd of uh, August uh, that peaked at uh, 16308 uh, so far <clears throat> as said uh, between 38 and 50 percent uh, and 50 percent uh, have been uh, retraced so far of the initial uh, rally with the 
brief regain of uh, 16100 still, still seen as uh, uh, not enough uh, for any stronger uh, recovery as long as uh, 16175 and 16186 these are the previous uh, uh, peaks and the near term consolidation uh, tops uh, stay intact only break above uh, here and the uh, 162 as uh, psychological resistance uh, would uh, see some uh, stronger action higher and prevent the pair from further easing Otherwise, any failure below 161.86, I would say, uh, will be seen as a lower top and uh, uh, for fresh uh, extension lower with the 160.66 yesterday slow and the 160.39.33 seen as the next targets. The first one is the 50% retracement and the second one is the high of uh, uh, 7th of uh, September 2012. Uh, the daily structure remains uh, negative as uh, loss of momentum sees uh, potential for a, a further extension uh, lower and as said uh, unless uh, we see the regain of uh, minimum uh, 161, uh, 75, 80 and uh, nothing much to be expected as the, all the indicators are currently in the uh, descending uh, mode. Ichimoku uh, 160, 16094 Oh, pardon. Uh, 162.00 is approximately the cloud uh, uh, base on the four-hour chart, and uh, this is along with the 161.75 and the uh, 160.186 uh, uh, accompanied to these levels is the quite uh, strong barrier and only break uh, here. Basically, break above the cloud top at 62.20 would be a good signal for some extension higher according to the Ichimoku studies that are uh, uh, quite uh, negative at this point uh, despite the price uh, spiked uh, slightly above the uh, faster uh, moving average the Tenkan Sen uh, line so far the Ichimoku studies are uh, firmly in a bearish mode and uh, still keeping the downside uh, favored. Uh, conversely the dollar yen uh, remains uh, well supported uh, as yesterday's regain of a 78.50 zone uh, peaked at 78.57 and closed around there was the initial signal for a further extension of the near-term uptrend from 77.42 with overnight rally uh, peaking at 78.71 and now opening a more prospect for further extension higher and test of our uh, key upside barriers. 79.00 is round figure resistance. 79. Uh, uh, 21 is the 19th of uh, September uh, uh, peak and uh, also we have the 200 days uh, moving average at uh, 7930 cluster of uh, strong uh, barriers uh, uh, basically starting with the 90 days moving average at 7876 uh, uh, and uh, also uh, we have the daily Chimoku cloud the top at uh, 7887 so we have quite a big number of uh, uh, good resistances for uh, dollar yen uh, in order to regain uh, a key barrier and the break point at uh, 79, uh, 79 30 zone uh, with uh, some uh, corrective easing not ruled out at this point uh, as the hourly uh, indicators already moved uh, out of the overbought territory but uh, uh, they look quite extended at this point as MACD is already starting uh, to signal some uh, movements uh, lower uh, some corrective easing that already occurred from 78, uh, 20, 71 to 78, uh, 55 uh, could be seen as an end of correction uh, that was contained by 10 days uh, exponential moving average. However, any further extension uh, lower uh, should be contained uh, somewhere between 78.40 and the 78.30 levels, ideally, in order to keep the immediate uh, bulls uh, intact uh, for a possible extension and the test of our key barriers at uh, above uh, 79 uh, level. Otherwise, the loss of uh, 78 that uh, uh, mark 2nd of October uh, low and uh, also psychological support uh, I think would be bearish at uh, that point and if uh, market uh, breaks below this level then uh, we might expect some uh, further weaknesses. Uh, a larger uh, picture uh, outlook is still uh, uh, quite uh, keeps the downside uh, quite vulnerable at uh, this point uh, with the indicators uh, uh, still uh, in the weak uh, uh, mode as uh, MACD is still holding below the midlines and the uh, a brief gain of momentum so far is not showing some uh, significant uh, results. Uh, basically, if we see the regain of uh, 79, 79, uh, 20, 30, then uh, we might be talking about some uh, stronger uh, recovery and preventing pair of uh, revisiting a uh, dangerous uh, 77 zone. <clears throat> and the dollar Swiss uh, narrows the range ahead of uh, 
important releases uh, today and tomorrow. Uh, still uh, short of uh, 9400 as our initial uh, uh, barrier. This is the 200 days uh, moving average that was uh, uh, briefly taken out of the break above 9436, but proved to be false break as uh, the pair quickly reversed uh, lower with the lower boundary of the near term range. Uh, standing at the 93.30 zone and this is now acting as a break point uh, for the pair in case of a uh, break lower then we might see it uh, significantly lower and basically that will be a signal of uh, a lower top at uh, 94.36 as a part of uh, the larger down move from uh, 99.70 peak of uh, 24th of uh, July 2012 that so far dipped to 92.37 currently we are in the corrective uh, uh, phase of 92.37 that so far peaked at uh, 94.36 as we mentioned in the previous uh, sessions, 94 zone is uh, quite uh, a strong barrier and so far the pair didn't manage to uh, clearly break it uh, with the uh, yesterday's attempts higher being a cup just under at 93, 96 was the highest uh, one still holding below and they're still holding below the uh, already broken uh, bull trend line of uh, recent uh, lows uh, as uh, studies are uh, neutral at uh, this point for hours. Uh, for our negative uh, to neutral while the uh, hourlies are uh, uh, firmly neutral seeing uh, uh, no direction uh, so we have to focus on the upside at uh, 9400 and the downside at uh, uh, initial uh, support uh, at the 93 approximately 9330 zone this is the area here and in case of a break here then we, will, we might see some uh, a stronger uh, reversal otherwise break above uh, 94 and 9436 is uh, required to spark a stronger and fresh recovery of uh, 9237 uh, with the 95 zone seen next uh, as 50% uh, uh, pardon with the 90 uh, I do apologize uh, 94 uh, 47 61.8% retracement and the uh, 9482 high of uh, a tenth of uh, September seen on the upside uh, break uh, more clues of course will be given uh, after today's and tomorrow's uh, release of the economic indicator that will give us a more clear direction especially for the dollar Swiss and the euro dollar that are currently entrenched uh, within the narrow ranges and uh, uh, moving sideways in a sit and wait uh, mode uh, to see what uh, will be decisions uh, of the central banks and of course uh, tomorrow's uh, US uh, non-farm uh, payrolls data as uh, said the crude oil is uh, was the biggest uh, loser of yesterday as uh, uh, losses accelerated uh, on the uh, heavy sell-off and they then uh, pushed uh, additionally by uh, release of uh, US uh, weekly crude inventories uh, dipping as low as uh, 8769 uh, this is uh, pardon uh, this uh, marks uh, over 50 percent uh, retracement of uh, entire 7727 to 100.72 uh, rally with the 86 uh, approximately 86 and 90 zone now coming in focus uh, uh, 8700 and 8690 seen as the next this is the higher platform of uh, end of uh, July beginning of August uh, 2012 uh, that is uh, likely going to be revisited as uh, a quite uh, weak tone uh, dominates on the hourly on the pardon on the daily chart with all indicators uh, moving lower and holding below their midlines and as especially that uh, uh, the price uh, broke below 89.85 90 days uh, uh, moving average uh, still keeping a uh, more focus uh, toward the downside as at uh, 87 86 90 seen next ahead of 86 11 61 uh, point eight uh, uh, percent retracement and uh, negative tone seen also on the four hour and now currently the uh, bounce higher is uh, uh, triggered by oversold uh, conditions on the four hour chart uh, uh, we're facing initial uh, resistance at uh, uh, 88 and 94 this is the low of uh, uh, 26 of uh, September uh, while uh, any significant uh, moves uh, higher need to clear uh, uh, 9330 and the 9380 uh, recent uh, tops of the consolidation uh, in order to consolidation from uh, end of uh, uh, September beginning of October in order to uh, regain some uh, pace and uh, prevent uh, price from further slide otherwise uh, likely scenario would be the lower top and the uh, a fresh extension lower as the uh, break above lower tops at the 93.80 and the 93.30 is required uh, to improve the situation to improve the structure with the 55 days uh, uh, daily moving average currently 
uh, cupping the upside and as said only break above these levels uh, is uh, uh, going to be uh, supportive and they allow for stronger recovery otherwise likely scenario would be further extension lower with 87, 86, 90 and then 86 uh, zone seen as the next target. Uh, a break below 86 could be quite uh, dangerous as this marks 61.8 percent retracement and uh, would threaten a uh, full uh, reversal of the initial 77.27 to uh, 100.72 rally as uh, oil remains uh, uh, quite pressured by increased uh, fears of deepening uh, crisis uh, in Europe and uh, worldwide that will be direct uh, a trigger for a lower demand and uh, despite uh, uh, OPEX uh, attempts to uh, keep the price above $100 uh, so far uh, uh, without any success as you can see on the uh, larger picture there is still a strong downtrend of the 2011 peak at 114.80 is still intact uh, with the uh, strong base uh, seen at uh, 77.75 uh, zone shown on the weekly chart with the latest upside rejection at 100.72 uh, now signaling a, a possible a lower top and a possible extension uh, further down and uh, finally the yellow metal uh, remains uh, well supported as it uh, attempts again towards the upper levels of the past uh, three weeks uh, range uh, with the uh, marginally fresh high marginally fresh yearly high posted on uh, 1st of October at 1791.10. A uh, good base was found at uh, 1770. We mentioned this level yesterday. I think it shows more clear. This is approximately 38.2% uh, retracement and the uh, consolidation uh, uh, range upper floor of uh, the uh, broader range uh, with the fresh gains now <clears throat> again uh, attacking in 1791 break of which to open uh, our next uh, important uh, target I think shown on daily on the weekly uh, 1800 uh, zone these are the highs of uh, November 2012 and uh, uh, basically break above 1800 is uh, to, to signal end of the uh, larger uh, cycle that started uh, nearly a year ago uh, and the uh, bottom that uh, 15 uh, approximately 1520 zone that's uh, now acts as a very strong uh, support for gold as uh, uh, several attempts uh, uh, 2011, 2000 and, uh, pardon, 11, and then uh, in 2012 we had uh, one, two, three, uh, several attempts uh, lower uh, that uh, have been contained at this level, preventing uh, basically gold from the major uh, uh, corrective action, major recovery. Yes, uh, we are in uh, a strong uptrend in past uh, approximately 10 years. Uh, a bounce higher sees uh, more potential uh, towards the upside, as most of analysts uh, agree that a break above 1800 will attract directly. Uh, 1920 the record high of gold posted in uh, September 2011 and already operating with a figure of uh, $2,000 per ounce in the near uh, future. Currently the positive uh, tone that is, has been established in the uh, near term uh, keeps the upside more focused but uh, again we have to uh, see the break above the two days, uh, two weeks, nearly three weeks basically uh, congestion and the range in order to confirm the bullish stance that is already uh, quite uh, visible uh, to break above uh, 1790 and 1800 uh, uh, per ounce in order to resume uh, higher and uh, possibly focus the uh, 1920 record uh, high of the yellow metal. Uh, that was all uh, for today. Uh, please your questions, if you have any questions you can uh, uh, submit them now. Okay, if, uh, no questions. Uh, it seems we covered uh, everything. Uh, I hope uh, we managed to provide you with uh, uh, enough uh, and adequate information uh, for your uh, trading day today. Uh, thank you for uh, being with us. We expect you again uh, tomorrow at the same time at 7 o'clock uh, GMT. Uh, all those that connect uh, later or unable to 
uh, view the full session uh, can find it uh, recorded on the YouTube Windsor Brokers uh, uh, page is called the Windsor Brokers uh, Forex where you can find the recorded version of uh, this session uh, a lot of caution in today's uh, uh, trading with the uh, important uh, releases and uh, of course uh, good luck a nice day and uh, successful and uh, profitable trading